That's crazy, man. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. I usually don't do posters like this, you know what I'm saying? But, like, you know, Kobe Bryant is, like, one of the best NBA players ever. Closest to Michael Jordan we ever going to get, ever. You know what I'm saying? He built himself up in the NBA. People don't know he was a rookie. He was averaging six points. You know what I'm saying? He was a six man. Eddie Jones was starting. I believe he was the only six man I only know that made an all star game the next year after that. And then the second year, he would made like 21 points, 22 points. They were, he probably would have won MVP, but they lost the all star game. You know what I'm saying? You know, he built his stuff up over and over in the NBA, over and over. He got him better than he started average 15 points. And a year before that, second year in the NBA, he was the most improved player with the best six man award. Soon when, um, you know, Eddie Jones left, you know what I'm saying? That's where Kobe Bryant took off. That's now, you know, you're hearing Kobe and Shaq, Kobe and Shaq, Kobe and Shaq. To me, Kobe and Shaq going to be way better than Jordan and the Pippen in my eyes forever. You know what I'm saying? You're never going to be a comparison like that. They would have got along over the years. I believe they would have won way more championships, probably like 10. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. And, like, that touched me because, like, he built himself up in the NBA. You know what I'm saying? And, like, people thought after he left, Shaq left. He left Shaq. He wasn't going to win no more. He won two MVPs. Now, I remember I was in jail one of these situations. I'm going to prison. You had people hating on him so bad. I mean, so bad. Like, I don't want him to get his fifth ring. I don't want him to. He going to take his Jordan after that. And you got people hating on him. At that time, I would be honest with y'all. You know, I, I'm a Kevin Garnett fan, man. And Kevin Garnett, man, he's my favorite basketball player ever. You know what I'm saying? Him and Allen Iverson, they're my favorite basketball player. So I'm going to keep it all the way honest. So he playing against the Celtics in the finals. You know what I'm saying? That's why I wanted to lose. Not because he didn't want to get the fifth ring. People was literally hating on Kobe Bryant. I swear to God. Like, I don't want to get this fifth ring. Hell nah. That's why they didn't want him to win. They didn't even want to feel like he's Jordan. But he got five rings. He got two rings for our Shaq. He got one over Shaq. You know what I'm saying? What made him, to me, the best. Because people are like, oh, you will never do it without Shaq. Without Shaq, you won't win no more championships. And he did it. You know what I'm saying? Last game. You know what I'm saying? Score hella points. You know what I mean? Straight legend shit, man. That shit crazy, man. You know, uh um, it just let me know, bro, like, I like to get taken in every time. So, like, I guess he taught me right now, like, live your best moments. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy part about it, like, he gave LeBron the torch yesterday. Gave him the torch after LeBron passed him. You know? I mean, it's crazy, man. I can't explain it right now. You know, he gave him the torch. And the next day, he just died in a helicopter. Yeah. Yeah, he the closest to Michael Jordan we ever going to get, ever. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? LeBron great, he a great too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he a great. He just a great in our generation of greatness. In the other generation, Kobe Bryant was a great in that generation. Before that, you had Michael Jordan. Before that, you had Master Johnson. Had that, you had Larry Bird. You know, he's, he's got to look at it in, in all those fields, you know? He was a family man, took care of his kids, you know, always with his daughter. You know, I'm going through the things. My baby mom right now, I can't even see my daughter. I see him doing beautiful things with his daughter. You know, know I'm saying? Rest in peace, Kobe. We love you, bro. We appreciate what you brought to the game, man. Appreciate your hunger. We appreciate you being in those gyms all day, shooting. We was just in there by yourself. You just in there by yourself, just shooting, and shooting, and shooting, and shooting. You know what I'm saying? That's what we can see greatness out of you. That's what we can say you the best today. That what made you the best. You, everybody went home, you were still out there shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting. You would not give up for nothing. You would shoot. That's the hour. You know what I'm saying? I actually said in a rhyme with you. You know what I'm saying? I said, it, I put you in my name in a rhyme. I put your name in a rhyme before all this happened. You know what I mean? I said, don't need my team shooting with me. I'm Kobe Bryant. You know what I'm saying? You know, because you was... You didn't need your team shooting in with you, you know what I'm saying? It's just crazy that you gone, man. I'm, I'm lost of words, you know? Number eight, they turned to 24, you became three times that person who you was as a rookie. I tell people that too, like, why you think you changed the number eight to 24? 
eight times, three twenty four. He three times the person he was when he was a rookie, actually six points. Six points to thirty points a game. Man. I'm saying we love you, Kobe Bryant, man. Appreciate what you did for the NBA. We appreciate what you did for your fam. Appreciate you passing the torch to LeBron. You know what I'm saying? Other things I can't mention. You know what I'm saying? You know. Condolences to his family, to his daughters, to that. You know. Our family is definitely a legend. You're definitely a legend. 